Hello everyone, I'm back with another trading session. I go with the buys right here. Let's go. Okay, uh, somebody asked me a question about creating higher high and lower lows. And I just wanted to explain that in today's video. All right, look at these two candles. Okay, when you're looking at these two candles, you see that this is the previous candles high and this is the um, you know, compared to previous candle, this is another high. So it's creating a higher high. And if you look at the low, this is the previous candles low and the new candles low. Okay, so it's not creating a lower low. So here, the confirmation as a, um, you know, high to low ratio is with us. We're going with the buyers. Okay, so this is what I mean when I say that we have a higher high. Okay. And it's a very small confirmation. It's not a very solid confirmation. Okay, so here compared to previous candle, we have the high, but compared to uh, also previous candle, we also have a little bit of low here. Okay, if the high and low are not uh, so like strong like that, and they are pretty close, it means that the market is inside of this range. Okay, so the market is moving like that. So we can basically trust uh, this ranges if we have a setup okay so here we have this support area but I would take this trade if we were breaking that kind of as a fake breakout but for now I don't see any setup we can just take a sell if we reject and close over here okay but if we close at the middle it means it's high risk all right, I'll, I want to go with the buyers here. Let me just see. I want to enter at this area with marginal safety, but I'll go with 50, okay, because it's risky. I go exactly on this rejection point, okay? We also have this gap down. That's a positive thing. So let's see how this is going to go. And the markets at the higher scale it's in a bigger range okay if we zoom in you can see that we are actually inside of a base so we are in a ranging market and this one uh, again the same question this is the high of the previous candle this is the high of the new candle before taking this trade okay this is the low of the previous candle this is the low of the new candle okay so high and this is a lower high. Hold on. This is a lower high. So uh, this is a confirmation that uh, we don't have, uh, I mean, we don't have the high, high confirmation for taking this trade as a buy. All right. But we have other confirmations here. And as you can see, we have a breakout. Like I said, this is a breakout trade. One, another confirmation gap down. Okay. Another confirmation. We have third point of the rejection, which we entered right here with marginal safety. And then this is a pattern that it can have a retracement. Okay. So here going with the sellers is, is not a good idea because we are at the, uh, at the point of the market that the at price used to be supported. So we're not going against that. There's another reason if you look at here. You know, dojis have... Okay, let me just take this straight. Dojis have uh, memories. Okay, dojis are strong candles. And in this case, since we had a lot of reasons, we could also count on the doji break. Okay, doji break worked here once. And if we have enough reasons, we can add up the doji here as well. But for this one, for selling this one, it's only a doji break, all right? And as you can see, the doji is working here as well because dojis have uh, memories. It means that in the, le in the future, if we have another one breaking this doji, we can count on that. But if you compare that uh, with a fresh doji break, with, uh, you know, an old doji break, in this case, this is an old doji, okay? It's so weak compared to a fresh one so if you have the only reason 
you cannot go full amount. You have to go one out of four. You have to divide by four. If you normally take with 200, you have to take with 50. If you have one reason, for example, this one. Okay, that's about, that's the point about dojis. Let's just change the chart. If you have any sort of question, uh, like I answered right now about the high, high and low, low, you can just ask in the comments. I will answer them on the next video. Okay, I decided to answer a question uh, of yours and starting uh, of each video. Okay, here we have the engulf. You see a huge engulf here. If you go to the one minute, you can see that the high, low, high, high, and then low, low. So this QM area is active for us. If you go to the lower time frame, we have to look for entries. For example, we have an entry here. It can, of course, get reacted from this entry, but since the zone is quite far, we're not going to risk it here. I will just mark it for you to see the reaction. I'll go to 15. 15 seconds. All right. And 50 seconds, you can, you can see the, this zone right here. Okay. I will just mark them all. This is the ABC to the downside and another zone for us. We will find the most optimal entry. Okay. So here at the 10 seconds, you can see another QM. So it's a QM inside of a QM. And inside of this QM, if you zoom in, you can see a gap, an overlapping level. This is an overlapping level. Also, a very good supply area. So if we go very small here, and if we want to take a very good trade, you have to do multi time frame analysis. So this red area for us is the optimal entry. I doubt the market's going to come up, but I wish it, it could come up. And we could see the result of this trade. If you go to the five second, you can see that, oh, we have the same area as a drop based drop and the, the most optimal area. Okay. So I will remove, okay. I'm not going to remove the previous zones for you just to see the reaction. But if the price is going to come here, I will take this trade. Uh, I'll just add this here. So you don't forget that. All right, uh, we can see a QM right here, right? But I don't know if we have enough confirmation for this or no, we don't see any engulf, so we're not gonna take that trade. If you wanna take a QM trade, you have to check all the confirmations. We want best possible results. We're not here for gambling and shit. All right, we have low, high, low, low, and then high, high. This is the QM area for us. Let's check the confirmation, three minutes. Oh yes, we have three minute engulf. Let's go the 30 second. We don't see any fresh area. We don't see any. F okay, I'll go with the bias right here. Let's go to 10 seconds as well. Okay, this is the fresh area for us. I go two more trades on this one with marginal safety. Let me just see. All right, this is a fresh area for us. So my these two entries are good, and I believe they will be winning trade. This is the QM area for us, guys. Let me just mark that. The worst case scenario, uh, one of these three trades is going to be a losing trade. Okay, let's see. They has to, re I mean, the market is uh, basically working. Uh, it's not random, guys. It's like if you consider the chart and if you're wondering how the market actually moves, it's basically, let's say we have two areas, okay? The market's the whole thing about the market is markets move between the order blocks. I know that everybody have heard about order blocks. I'm not going to overcomplicate things and people just use different names. Let's say that these are all the order blocks and the markets just constantly moving between different order blocks. Okay. If there wasn't order blocks, I mean, order blocks means that if we have a chart like that, okay, this chart has consists of different order blocks it can be here it can be there look it can be here and there at the different time frames and these order blocks are basically strong points of rejection it's strong points in the chart that they have a lot of sellers or buyers so because of these order blocks market actually moves like that okay so that was the let me just 
Okay, market moves like that. Bef be between these order blocks. Okay? Touches another order block, this order block, previous order block, you know? It keeps moving like that. And when we're trading advanced setups or price action, we, we are basically detecting those points, just like here. We detected, we, we found the confirmation, 3-minute confirmation, as an engulf. And inside of the body of this engulf, we have this zone. If we go to the lower time frame and go in more detail, you will see a lot of order blocks. My first entry is, was on this order block, right here. And it's a fresh order block. This is order block. Okay? And then, if you go in more detail, you can basically optimize that entry in this case i could do something like that and consider this overlap or maybe this one doesn't matter the thing that matters is they will reject finally okay or even this one look this is the the most the safest area for this trade would be this order block right here okay and in both of the cases most likely it's a winning trade you can see that they rejected and it was a winning trade all right, I hope you enjoyed, guys. Thank you for watching, everybody. Thank you for your crazy support. And if you enjoyed, please drop a like for me. Peace out.